Alicia. And I'm Giancarlo. And this is a small game. <laughs> Iota. Or Iota. Or Ray Liotta. Can I have an Iota of your attention, please? An Iota. Because Iota is, means small. Quantum. And My then name. you're going to I owe me something. I owe you. How, what can be so small that's in here? Like... I could have gone so many places with that. Really? I chose not to, which is good. It's a good oh. thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so this could be PG-13. In IOTA, players are trying to score points by making lines of four or less cards. In the tiny box, you'll get a bunch of cards which have shapes, numbers, and colors. The game ends when the last card is drawn from the deck. Here's how to set up. Get paper and pen to keep track of score. Shuffle the cards well and give four to each player. Place the deck on the table and flip over the first card to start the grid. You're now ready to play. On your turn you can do two actions. Play cards onto a line in the grid or you can exchange any number of cards from your hand with the draw deck. For example, you can put two cards from your hand back under the deck to draw two cards. If you decide to play cards onto a line in the grid, you must follow certain guidelines. These are clearly explained in the rulebook. For example, they must be all of the same shape or all the same number or color. You can even get wild cards which can be anything you want. Once you've placed cards and made a line, you calculate the points of that line and write it down. A line can only have four cards maximum. When all cards are drawn, count the points and see who wins. It's a cool little portable game but you'll need a big table to play on. Don't think that because it's small you can play it on the train or something. There's lots of strategy in figuring out what you can play and where to play it is fun. It's an easy game to teach and the young as well as the old can enjoy this one. It's a great filler game and when you make that sweet combination which combines two rows you feel like a genius. But again, some of it is luck and you don't always get the cards you need. We liked it and for the price it's a nice little addition to your collection. We're giving Iota a 7 out of 10.